Hollywood movies are always portraying the perfect crime, with audiences loving to watch the bad guys carry out large-scale heists on film. However, when it comes to real life, these crimes can sometimes prove to be very disturbing. We've discovered some real-life heists and robbers caught on tape which showcase how thieves can simply exploit the system. Some of these are extremely creative and quite entertaining to witness, while others are very brazen and confronting. These are five most shocking robberies caught on camera. Number five, million dollar heist. Stretching over eight states in the United States, more than two dozen jewelry stores were targeted by a highly sophisticated team of thieves. The teams were able to steal millions of dollars in diamonds over a period of 18 months between 2009 and 2011. The accused ringleaders of the Coast to Coast team, at least seven people, took part in the grab and dash thefts, each playing distinctive roles, including a phony customer to make off with gems, a getaway drive to pick up the customer in a stolen vehicle, a pinpointer to watch the heists and tell the thief by cell phone whether to walk or run to the getaway car, and another driver parked at a safe distance in what's known as a wash car to extract the team. One surveillance camera shows a well-dressed man walking into a jeweler's in downtown Portland. He examines two rings side by side valued at $52,500 before bolting out of the store. Portland police released a description of the thief along with photos and surveillance to the press. An anonymous tipster eventually notified police of the man behind the Magoulas jewelers heist. Lupus was arrested and confessed to his role in the theft to Portland police and gave investigators information about the other diamond heists along with the ringleaders of the heist. Number 4 Oz Robbery Located in Melbourne, Australia, a jewellery store owner has been targeted twice by an African crime gang. These out-of-control teenagers held the jewellery store employees at gunpoint and even struck an employee over the head with the butt of the gun before smashing the glass counters and stealing the jewellery. The jewelry's heist is the latest in a string of violent crimes committed by these African youths. In particular, a gang known as the Apex Gang is notorious for its violent car thefts, home invasions and robberies across Melbourne's southeast. Number 3. Helicopter Heist This next heist is something out of a Hollywood movie when a gang raided a cash deposit bank by using a helicopter located in the Vesperger area in Stockholm. Flying over the building, the gunman jumped out into the roof over the cash depot before smashing the windows using a sledgehammer at just after 5am. With the helicopter casually hovering, the men loaded up their bags with cash from the rooftop. One witness told Swedish TV, two men hoisted themselves down and then I saw them hoist up the money. At the time of the heist, police were near the scene, however, they could not gain access due to suspected explosives marked bomb which had been placed on the road leading up to the depot. Police spokesman states, We found what we believe is a live bomb to hinder our response. I've never experienced anything like it. The thieves were able to escape with an unconfirmed sum of money, and so far are still at large. Number 2. Smash and Go This smash and grab heist was located in Hudson's Bay, Vancouver, when three suspects managed to get their hands on over $200,000 worth of jewellery during the early hours of April the 7th, 2015. Police believe they cased the jewellery store days prior to the heist, surveying which were the most expensive cases to hit. They initially broke into the store by driving a car into the shop's double doors before stashing their bags with watches, jewels and necklaces. Just two days later, a similar heist occurred at another jewellery store located in the Hudson Bay area for a whopping $100,000. Police believe the two crimes are connected. Police are currently looking for these heist suspects along with a black truck they believe it's damaged on the back. Number 1. Real Ocean's Eleven During Easter of 2015, the Hatton Garden Safe Deposit Company, which is located in the heart of London's Diamond District, was the scene of a highly planned jewellery heist. CCTV footage captured a group of men coming and going through a fire escape over a period of three days. They made sure to hide their faces while gaining access to the building, using a lift shaft 
to access the basement before cutting through metal bars and drilling through a thick concrete wall which led to the vault. Inside, they then raided dozens of boxes containing precious stones and valuables. Leaving little forensic evidence, they casually filled their bins with the loot before driving away. Amazingly, police were able to track them down using data from the landlines and mobile phones. They discovered the heist had been led by a group of pension aid criminals. The police then placed surveillance on the men by planting listening devices on their cars and only arrested the men after obtaining evidence of them moving the stolen goods. Eight men were eventually arrested for the $20 million heist and only one third of the stolen items had been recovered.